hello guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is tessie good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all depending on where you are watching from hope you all are doing well and thank you so much for stopping by so yesterday when i posted that video of some members of the senate saying that buhari must go i told you guys that it is not really because these people they care about your well-being but because they no longer feel safe in their safe heaven that is why they are crying out now here we have femi adeshina saying that the reason why they are shouting buhari must go is because they feel that terrorist is now at their doorstep this is to tell you that these people they clearly knows what they are doing we will get into the news in full details but please if you're just watching for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe also on the notification button and that way anytime we upload a new video they will notify you and i pray that the same way you all are supporting us here in this channel god will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in jesus name amen this news here reads they are saying buhari must go because the fee terrorist is now at their doorstep and this is coming from femi adeshina earlier today the video of senators calling on buhari to handle the security challenges in the country within six weeks of face impeachment went viral as federal lawmakers who are said to be the members of the people's democratic party left the senate house and were singing all we are saying buhari must go <laughs> in China's television special program, Politics Today, the presenter had the privilege to discuss the current state of insecurity in the country with Buhari's media aide, Femi Adeshina. When asked to share his view on the threat by Senate members, Adeshina said Buhari's administration has been trying its best to fight terrorism. Femi Adeshina said he wonders why the senators are complaining now that the senators probably feel that terrorism is now at their doorstep. That is why they made the call to face security challenges or face impeachment. Femi Adeshina said the senators don't have the interest of the people at heart okay and that it is because the terrorists are now attacking places in abuja which happens to be where the senate house is located that is why they spoke out all right my people and that is it for you all for once in a lifetime for once i have to partially agree with femi adeshina that truly and i said it yesterday that truly these people, not really because they care about you, because if truly they care about you, not be today they wake up. It don't say when Nigerians, they cry for insecurity. It don't say whether they kill innocent people for this country. But they never cared because they think their money can afford security for them. But right now, that is no longer the case. They have the money now, but there is no peace anywhere because these same people now are everywhere. In fact, they are now at their doorstep, like Femi Adeshina said, especially after the Kujay prison. Many things has happened and things are still happening. Most of them, they have become potential target that is why they are crying out but this same thing they have the power to address all this all of these things before time but they kept mute every day they will go there with their pot belly uh-huh uh -huh. if you agree say i uh, if you disagree say nay the highest have it they keep making some stupid and unnecessary laws that will keep the the people in perpetual poverty approving bogus loans that we till today we don't know what they are using those loans for any naya baribe was a uh, 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 talking on arise tv he called when he began to mention the billions upon billions of dollars not naira now that they have used in fighting this same insecurity i was dumbfounded i said jesus 
what a life and the most painful part of it is that with all the money all this money they've spent in fighting this insecurity the same thing keep getting worse with all of that you don't even need anybody to tell you that these people all those money they are collecting they are not using it to fight terrorists they are using it to empower terrorism that is what they are using it to do. They are using it to buy weapons for them. They are using it to feed them. They are using it to pay them ransom. And after doing all of that for them, you want them to stop. For where? In fact, who are even them? There is not the same government we are talking about. Not them now. So the thing has become, uh, 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 a luc it is a lucrative business for them. And I said it that if care is not taken, a time will come when they will be including terrorism uh, budget in our national budget very, very, very soon because everything is possible in Nigeria. Anything at all is possible. But these same legislators coming out today to say Buhari must go, Buhari must go. They've been there for so long. Why now? This same thing they are doing now is something they should have done if truly they care about the people six months after Buhari took over power. Six months, let's say six months, one year, one year even too much, self. Six months after Buhari took over power because it was very clear that this man did not get the interest of the people at heart. So it's something they should have done long ago. So tell me, why now? Few months to go and you're coming out to tell a Buhari must go. You want to impeach him. After he don't destroy everything, the damages that this man has done in Nigeria, it will take the grace of God to repair to repair it, it is now you are saying Buhari must go. Of what use? Of what use is it if the man you call Buhari resigned today? Waiting he go benefit the people. The damages are already done, and now not be say even get too much time to stay again. So all these people forget to they are playing the game of politics. They know what they are doing so that they will say eh, they said this they said that but god will judge all of these people for the innocent blood they have shared in this country none of them will go scot free this is just the beginning no oh. it's just the beginning they just started and they are crying already just imagine okay now to tell you that these people they knows what they are doing femi adeshina now is coming out to say eh, it is because they know that terrorism is now at their doorstep that is why they are crying not really because they have the interests of the people at heart and now me i want to ask uh, uh femi adeshina even though they have the power to impeach buhari is he is he the work of the legislatures or the executive to tackle insecurity is it their job is it their job but this is what you get when you get when you have a bunch of incompetent people in power. And that is it for you all my people. I'm just going to leave you all to share your thoughts with me on the comment section. And with that, I'll say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. your love, your support and effort upon this channel is not taken for granted. Let me know what you think and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.